Hello and welcome to my SharePoint branding and design video blog. My name is Eric Swenson. You can view my website at ericswenson.blogspot.com. You could also follow me on Twitter at Eric J. Swenson. In this third part uh, series of SharePoint 2013 branding, we're going to be going over design channels um, within the uh, design manager. So when you create a new publishing portal um, uh, site collection, you'll be able to go under the site actions and design manager. Within the second step within design manager, um, you'll have the ability to create a channel. So a channel is really a, uh, a path of uh, the ability to uh, point a specific master page based on a specific uh, rule. So if we go to create a channel here, you'll give it a name. Um, for example, I have some samples here. So for um, you could have a uh, device channel for IE7, IE8, IE9, IE10. You could be for Firefox. You could have a Windows Phone 7, an iPad, an iPhone, all these different options so that you could have a different design uh, user experience based on um, um, device that you want to hear. So for this example I will put in one for IE7. Uh, um, now the device inclusion rules, these are really your um, uh, the user agent strings. So you, there's a website out there you can find uh, all the different variety of user agent strings. So for this example, um, it's talking about a general Windows um, uh, using Inner Explorer 7 um, and also uh, Windows XP. So here I'd fill it out using inclusion rule. Then I'd choose active. Hit OK. So then it just added it to the list. I can create another one. Say, for example, the um, one for Windows Phone 7. Inclusion rule. Save. And one more for the iPad. So now that we've created a few different uh, uh, device channels, um, you might say, what is, well, what does that really mean? What, are you, what can you really do with it? So um, if we go back into your settings, site settings, and then go into your master page, you'll notice that now, um, once I've created these device channels, I can actually change the master page so that when a specific uh, um, device comes through you can have a specific master page for that so if you wanted to tailor um, a more uh, table based design for IE7 or a mobile based phone um, master page for Windows Phone 7 this is something that you could do you really wouldn't be able to do in SharePoint 2010 so um, we can choose a couple of different options here so maybe for the iPad we'd have uh, so we have Belltown Oslo and overlay. Um, so these are the uh, so master pages. So once we hit OK, now if you go back to your site and if you look in the ribbon, there's in the page ribbon, there's actually an option under preview. You can actually preview um, these different device channels um, and what they would look like. So under IE7. See, it has a little bit of a different design to it. If I chose Windows Phone 7, a little bit different, and then the iPad, um, a little bit different there as well. So it's basically specifying a different master page, and um, as you go through, you would customize it to really um, make it your own. 
and um, that's about it. So the next step is to actually create those master pages.